To start, we will show you how to get into the unit safely. First put one leg down and slide it underneath holding the crossbar. Positioning the band to the spot that feels most comfortable. Just laying in this position increases the lumbar lordosis and has a therapeutic effect. See here how the band is attached to the pegs. Again, step into the band, wrapping it around your waist and hooking the band to the pegs, making sure it's attached securely. Use the crossbar to lower yourself to the ground and position the band in the curvature of the low back where it feels most comfortable. The first stage, pull yourself back and place your arms across the leg supports to increase the stretch and traction of the lumbar spine. If you feel any pain or discomfort, stop the stretch and remove yourself from the unit as your spine is currently unable to tolerate this stretch and you should consult your physician regarding any back stretching exercises. To leave the unit, grab the support bars, sit up, and grip the band so it does not snap up your body or off of the unit. This is the end of phase one. Here we will be performing a hamstring stretch. Place your foot on the above crossbar. Relax the hamstring and then engage it. Stretch your leg as far as you can without discomfort. You may not be able to straighten your leg fully to 90 degrees, but straighten your leg to your tolerance. Increased flexibility comes from consistent use of the device over time. Be sure the band is beneath the pelvis assisting you to increase the therapeutic stretch of the hamstring muscle. Straighten and disengage the tension from 5 to 10 repetitions to increase hamstring flexibility. Next is the iliotibial band, or IT band, stretch. Push down against the band of the leg to stretch the outer side of the leg from the knee to the gluteal region and lower back. Be sure to keep your shoulders on the ground. Perform 5 to 10 repetitions then switch to the opposite leg. Push down against the band to your tolerance and stretch the outer side of the leg with the same amount of repetitions to create balance. The next exercise is the pelvic tilt, assisted with the flex band to help lift the pelvis from the ground. Contract the glute muscles at the top, then relax as you lower your back to the ground. Perform a series of 5 to 10 repetitions to strengthen your hips and lower back muscles. Here we will be performing a piriformis stretch. Place the right foot across the left band. Create tension with the left hand gripping the band and your right hand pushing down against the knee. This will stretch the buttocks and piriformis muscle from the tailbone to the outer hip. The goal is to keep the pelvis and back muscles balanced. Be sure to stretch both sides equally for 5 to 10 repetitions and apply pressure to your tolerance. 
If you feel any discomfort or pain, discontinue this maneuver immediately. This concludes Phase 2. Always finish your routine with the passive low back stretch as you performed in Phase 1. The further you pull away from the unit, the more tension the band places on the lumbar spine. This increases the stretch and decompression of the spine. Allow your muscles and ligaments to relax for one minute and work your way up to five or ten minutes. Here we are performing a one-legged pelvic tilt. This is an advanced stretch designed for additional strengthening of the hips and low back. You must have sufficient strength to perform this exercise, even with the bands assisting in lifting your body. For the next advanced stretch, place both legs on the crossbar and wiggle your hips side to side while gripping both legs. Be aware of the band's placement so it does not slip out from under you and slingshot up your legs or to the ceiling. Our next series will stretch the hip flexor. First place the band under one leg and position for your comfort. Hold on to the unit's legs and stretch forward with the back relatively straight. You are stretching the hip flexor, which runs from the front of your hip up into the lumbar spine. This muscle is normally tight on most individuals. Now we remove the band to lessen the chance of tripping over a connected band. We will now perform the hip flexor stretch on the opposite side. Repeat this exercise on both legs for five to 10 repetitions. Now remove and step into the band again to begin our next hip flexor series. The side you are stretching is the side where the knee is on the floor. Position the band for comfort and lean forward to stretch the hip flexor. You can also hold on to the unit if you need additional support. You can apply pressure to the band with your hands to increase the stretch to your tolerance. Repeat the process on the opposite leg by removing the band before stepping in and securing it to the pegs properly. Be sure to adjust the band for your comfort. Again, the knee on the ground is the hip flexor you are stretching. Perform this stretch for 5 to 10 repetitions and remain within your tolerance in the stretch. Be sure to keep your back straight during the stretch. And remember, any discomfort or pain, discontinue the exercise and consult your physician.
This is the end of phase three.